They came in the hundreds to the edge of the old city of Holmes, desperate to end their ordeal. It wasn't over yet. A sniper lies in wait, warns the UN. Eight convoys have already come under fire during this temporary truce. No wonder everyone is nervous. On this day, the guns are silent, and this tide of people is escorted to safety. Weary and worried, they've lived in this rebel-held area under siege by government troops for 18 long months. All that matters now is getting out. This operation was arranged for the elderly, the women and children. But young men also came out and were taken for questioning. The governor of Holmes insists the men are being treated well. He told us more than a hundred have already been released. Those men have been cleared of suspicion. This morning at 10, their problems were solved and they had the right to go wherever they wanted and were given the rights of any Syrian citizen. No obstacle was put in their path whether to stay or to travel. The UN brokered this ceasefire through difficult negotiations with the government and opposition. It says it's present in centres where the men are being questioned. The United Nations is being accused of taking part in an operation whereby the Syrian army is using this as a cover to actually arrest its opponents. If the government of Syria shows that it is not in, in, the, in the process of going after these individuals but rather uh, in the process of absorbing these individuals back into the larger society, this will go a very long way in building confidence. But there are worries. Holmes has seen some of the worst fighting in Syria's war. Large parts of the center of Holmes now lie in ruin. This area has been a no man's land for the past two years. Gunfire used to ring out in all directions. Today, it's largely quiet because of this truce. But there's no certainty as to what will happen next once that truce ends. And what will be the fate of the old city that lies just beyond here? Lise Doucette, BBC News, Holmes.